Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's May 14th, Tuesday morning, and uh, the uh, USDA gave us record low planting progress for this week uh, in uh, corn planting, only 28% complete. The lowest uh, that we've seen on record was 29% back in 1984. The uh, major uh, focus is on the I states, Illinois, Indiana, and, oh, and uh, Iowa, with uh, only 20% planted on average, when they should be about 65% planted for this week uh, in the grow in the planting season. Uh, so soybeans only six for. Six uh, percent planted. They were looking for 10 to 12 percent. So uh, looks for uh, some support to uh, be driving this market here in the near term. However, uh, weather is uh, certainly open in our area up here in northeast Illinois. Uh, driving into work this morning, a lot of fields got planted yesterday, and. Uh, uh, looks like uh, and talking to some producers locally here they will uh, finish planting corn today so uh, they there is progress being made in some areas southern Illinois uh, and central Illinois are still uh, uh, waiting for fields to uh, dry out so they can get into the uh, planting mode and the futures market we had open interest yesterday drop about 5,000 contracts in corn. Uh, a lot of this uh, seems to be moving of positions from the May, uh, possibly even the July, moving them out to the new crop in the December uh, and on further back as uh, traders realize the tight supplies of corn in uh, strong farmer holdings right now is holding this uh, nearby price of, uh, of grain uh, higher. So we've seen a lot of uh, movement there yesterday. Today we do have uh, the expiration of the May contract at 12 noon today, so uh, look for some volatility of these last few uh, contracts and, and positions getting moved out of the May, so uh, expect some, uh, some volatility there. The uh, winter wheat uh, planting uh, progress, uh, or the uh, conditions, were 32% good to excellent. That was uh, right in line with last week. Spring wheat plantings were 43%. That was a little better than what uh, trade was expecting. However, the average is uh, 63% uh, planted. The uh, NOPA crush uh, expected to be out tomorrow. Uh, trade's looking for somewhere in the 120 to 125 range there. Uh, that's a, a number that's being watched very closely to see uh, how what the ending stocks of soybeans might be this year. If crush continues to run high, uh, we're going to have to uh, do some adjusting in the bean supplies as we get toward the end of the marketing year. The uh, livestock market uh, cutout values there were up slightly yesterday. Choice up 15, select up uh, 63. Pork cutout values were uh, up 83 cents yesterday. A key uh, chart point and uh, thing to point out here today is the uh, uh, technical aspect of the June cattle. A 120 area in the uh, June cattle uh, looks like it needs to hold. There is a possible head and shoulders bottom there if we can bounce out of here. So monitor that very closely. If we take out the uh, the 120, then the uh, downside is open. And uh, from a fundamental perspective, we could see a, a potential downside into the 113 area. So uh, stay in touch with Allendale's research. We'll keep you informed there. And, and uh, We'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. You can reach us at 800-262-7538. We wish everybody a very successful trading day. And we'll talk to you tomorrow morning.